We're back. Hello. We're so loud. Happy New Year. Welcome back to Tavia Talk. It's been a minute. It has been like a year. Has it? I don't think I don't it's been know. a year. Has it's it? not. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. So it's 2022. <laughs> yeah. We probably should have looked up when our last one was. I, oh, I was thinking about this when we started this. I feel like this was like our 2020 mission mm -hmm. was to start a podcast. Oh, was it? Yeah, I feel like it was January. In the, in and then the it COVID? just... No, COVID started in March of 2020. Oh. So we like had a couple months and then we're like... Rrr. Yeah. And no, then I we like we started kind of... in 2019. Well, we started our like car stuff in 2019. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, we are back. Better than ever. Where's the camera? Where are we talking? Here? Yeah, you want to look okay. here. Okay. Yeah. Because I look at myself a lot. Okay, we need to get back to this really quick just because <laughs> I saw a picture. So Tavia was going to try to start a um, timer on her phone. And yeah. she was showing me a picture of somebody. No, no. Uh, Lucas texted and I was going to respond. Mm, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. daddy there's, sent a picture there's something, of his friends. There's somebody very cute on Tavia's phone. So let's go ahead and take a look at it together. So daddy has young friends now. Daddy's Luke, by the way. Daddy's Luke. And he's got young friends. Oh. Oh, yes. I would love to be in that friend group. Which friend do you want? Uh, I think both, but like, look at those arms. Who's that? Is that Cole? <laughs> Woo! That's Hi. the one that's like, let's meet. I've got to meet your friends. Yeah, no, I want to meet him. And then Is this... he coming to lunch too? I don't know. You need to invite, you need to invite them to lunch. Well, Jake, I don't know if Jake's still here. I don't know if we should probably say their names. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to hook Sarah up on a date. My oh, lounge absolutely. Sarah. So I send mm -hmm. it and she goes, oh, he's a hottie. Mm -hmm. And I go, and then there's my old man with his young bucks mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is who Luke, the, wow. this, these two I mean, like I, him. So Luke went on like a whole full blown date, date yeah, on Shemugle. Saturday. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't get it. Now I do. Not the looks into it, but. He's a man. I was man. <laughs> I these, all day with him Here's too. the thing is that these. These young guys are like, Luke, Luke, let's hang out Luke, Luke. I'm like, Dad, like well, he's because married. He's got shit to do with well, his and he's wife. He's got kids. But, right, but so they like him. He he also so he went to where did they go? They went to Top Golf first, right? No, no, they did a golf simulator, golf then they simulator. went to lunch, then they went to the Broncos game, then they went to dinner. I was like, You're over thirty. You might need to like yeah. take a five hour energy somewhere in I the know. middle of there. Like that just sounds exhausting to hear about. This one little swoop deep. <clears throat> Anyways, these are his friends, and they want to hang out with him often. <laughs> Good for him. Good for him. Anyway, so uh, Tavia has started a new makeup routine, and I just think you look just absolutely fabulous. Oh, thank you. I was just trying to push up my face a little bit, because it looks like Okay, we're not going to do that in 2022. We're not going to tear ourselves So here's my face, in case you want to... the camera. Oh, sorry, in case you want to log on. Yeah, take a quick screenshot. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to be like back to wearing some sort of makeup because I stopped for two years. Why do you have a blender ball in your water? Uh, cause I don't remember, but I'm too lazy to take it out. Okay. So I use this for like amino acids when I go to the gym. Oh. So anyways, I'm trying to like put Scroll. my life back together and maybe wear a little makeup here and there. Gotcha. How do you feel about the eyes? I did not do mascara on the bottom. I like it. I know. It looks like, I feel like a little bit better than the mascara. Yeah, a little more like awake. What are you looking at? Just, all, you have an eyelash. Oh. There we go. Okay. Wait, hold on. All okay. right. Why are you twitching your eyes so much? All right, because you're about to poke me in the um, eye. Anyways. So, yeah, so she's what's wearing makeup. Yeah. And yeah. This is me. Just a whole new woman these a days. Woman. She, we're trying, still trying to get in her way here. I think we, I've talked about this before. When I met Tavia, she wore like six inch platform heels every single day to work. Yeah. And this is just her. Yeah, it's just not happening. Like, I did it when I was pregnant even. Yeah, you were showing houses, I remember. And now the market is just so frenzy and people are like, let's be casual. And you show up in some vans. I, don't think, I think you're trying to blame the market. <laughs> I show up looking beautiful and people are like, oh, I love your shoes. And I'm like, thank you. They're orthopedic. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. So anyways, what's new? We've not been here. So what do we need to, what do we need to get our people up to date on? A lot of stuff. So I, where should we start? Let's hold on. Let's <laughs> open the book and page one. So, uh, I am now a spin instructor. I don't think we've been on since I've started teaching spin again. 
Yeah. So I'm teaching at Lifetime in uh, Broomfield. Yeah, yep. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Tavia has come to my class once. 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 It's 45 minutes, which is 15 minutes too long. I think so too. I would love to just take a, a 30 minute class. Lovely 30 minute. I feel like you should do yours as a 30 minute and the last 15 minutes be a show and share. Or just like a stretch? Stretch for 15 minutes. Well, so it's so funny because it, if I, sometimes I'll make it like 40 minutes with the cool down and I had this lady come up to me and she's like, mm, could have done a couple more songs. Yeah, I could have kept going. <laughs> like, gross. Did she just read me to filth right now? Yeah. Like, what is going on? You're tired after yeah, that. I'm tired. Yeah, no. I want a 30 minute class. Was it that little old lady that sits at the corner? No. Oh, is it the one in the front? You're touching the mm, rainbow? No, she's in the back. Now? I think her name is, sh like, she probably shouldn't say it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, anyway, so yeah. She sits middle center. No, she sits in the back, but then she's like, oh, yeah, I could have I could have done a couple more songs. And then, like, I was okay, like, Deborah. oh, was my, was my uh, music too loud? She's like, no, it covers up the breathing. And I'm like, oh, was I, like, breathing really heavy in the mic? Like, I'm like, did she? Like, in the moment, I didn't know what was happening, but I think afterwards, <laughs> I was like, she just read me down. She read me, like, hooked on She's bonnets. like, your breath is too much <laughs> for me, so if you could turn up, because you're... <sighs> it was a lot. So, yeah, so I'm teaching. Teaching. Um, what else is new? Some kind I, of important things. We both got COVID over... <gasps> we did! Christmas. Yeah. I survived. Tavia was sick maybe one day. I had a head I was cold. <laughs> dying for... T I got... I tested positive. So I started feeling sick on Friday, uh, which it was Christmas Eve, and I went over to my mom's house, and then... Um, got yourself out of the Christmas day. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. But so I spent the night at my mom's house, didn't really sleep, and uh -huh. then came home Saturday. You're not even listening to me. I'm listening to this one little piece though. Okay, go ahead. Um, I just need to put a block over the screen so that you can't, can't see, see yourself. I know. You can just focus for a minute. I know. Anyway, so then I came home and I ordered a COVID test and tested positive on Saturday on Christmas. Where'd you order one from? GoPuff, it's a delivery service. That's how I got all my groceries when we were in lockdown. I'm sorry, what, and eggs where'd they and... just found you a test somewhere? Well, so I ordered them uh, before they went out of stock. Oh, so I think it was right, right before the like. Where's your the stash? Rush. I just have one left because there's two came in the box. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. And they never really tested out of, co of quarantine. What's the ghost? Stop. Uh, that's protein. Oh. Oh, the other stuff is amino acids, the small one. Oh, yeah. Okay. So anyway, so we, we got COVID. We got COVID. Mm -hmm. And I just had like a head cold. I was dying for three days. Yeah, I made him chicken noodle soup. That was very sweet, yes. Mm -hmm. Tavia brought it all the way down for me. Mm. But she sat outside. Because I didn't want the homeless people to steal his I suit. was like walking my dog and she's like standing out there trying to talk to me as I'm like coughing up a lung. He sounded sickly. Yeah, I was He sick. was roaming his building. Which, I was I, I had a mask on because I was, I was nervous about <laughs> infecting other people. Like that. Yeah. All right, so page two, what's new? <laughs> so Jacob and I broke up. That's what you want to talk about, right? Yeah, Jacob and I broke up. Uh, when did we break up? Like in October? It was before Halloween, wasn't it? It was before we went to Mexico with Samantha. So it was in October. Maybe end of September. End of September, yeah. So I was supposed to go with Jacob to Mexico and upgraded our room and got a beautiful suite with a, you know, ocean view and our own bathtub, our own bathtub and our own swim up pool and. Um, I was there by myself for four days. <laughs> Very romantic room. I mean, in, in the beginning, I was like, one of you should take this. Like, the, I don't need this room, but you guys didn't. So every night I kicked everybody out and I took a bath. Yeah, with some concoction of shampoo and... Yeah, that's what you, how do you take a bath when you're traveling? I never sit in a bathtub in a hotel. Oh, I love it. Yeah, you just do a little shampoo and a little body wash and it foams right up. Okay. So I, I feel sad about it. And um, it took me a long time to process. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling about it now? I don't know. I'm still a little sad about it. I, I still am friends and I still watch his stories. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes he... Sometimes he comments on some of my stories. Mm -hmm. So if we want to take a deep dive into it, I think that mm -hmm. the issue... <laughs> <laughs> okay. The issue is that I think I am emotionally unavailable. Yes. And that I am... You know, my word of the year, because we, you know, when I'm goal setting for the year, 
is discovery. What are we going to discover? Myself. Okay. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go to therapy this year. And we're going to we're going to work Slow on clap. Our, Slow clap. We're going to work, work on, on ourselves because he's issues. an amazing human. I think we should just establish no, that Jacob was the most amazing it boyfriend. It had nothing to do with him. No, Colin just can't open up like a love? flower. You can't like fall in love. Yeah. Yeah. You're scared. I think it's that, not that he can't. He's scared. I think that it's it's a culmination of, you know, my father abandoning me. I think I have un, undiscovered abandonment issues. Mm -hmm. And then also on top of that, just getting beat down by... The gays. The gays. Like my they last couple are relationships just, have been not the, great. The gays are just something. We love you, but you guys are all savage. <laughs> In the words of Savannah. Yeah. Um, just be nice. Yeah, so I think it's a culmination of both of those things, and it's just turned me into a very hardened black heart. But we sadly don't talk to Jacob, and I feel like our breakup was a little unreconcilable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Tavia wouldn't know because she's never broken up with anybody, so she doesn't really have room to talk here. I just on feel. How to break up with somebody. I just feel. That we could have just taken a different approach. But anyways. No. The the, okay. No. We can talk about this. So I broke up with Jacob. I told him that. Via. No. We had a full-blown hour-long conversation about how I was feeling about the relationship. Okay. Did I not? I, a week before? Okay. A week before. And I told him that how I was feeling and that like I didn't know if I was able to love him. And I feel like my feelings should have progressed more. Yada, yada, yada. Like went through the whole thing. Right. And then, then he left out of town. He went back home. And he became a spin instructor. I taught my first class that Saturday and did not hear from him all day. And that just kind of pushed me over the edge. I was like, mm, I think I'm good. Like I've supported you through all of this stuff that you've been going through. Yes. And you can't support me. So I was like, I'm good. So Tavia wanted me to sit down with him and be like, and maybe even just a phone call. What do you tell somebody? You're like, I'm just done with you. Like, what do you say? I'm not falling in love. I said uh, that. Okay. <laughs> Is get, he gets emotional. I do. About this because deep down he really likes Jacob. Yeah, of right? course. I like He's him. a great guy. Maybe Jacob will watch this and <laughs> and he'll discover himself this year. Yeah. And we never know what what lies ahead. Yeah. Don't close the door forever. The door is closed. <laughs> Have you ever watched it with Houses with Lana? <laughs> no. <laughs> and Mimi gets invited with Portia, two girls on there, and she's like, the door is closed. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even <laughs> The door is closed. <laughs> It's really funny. All right, but well, anyway. the door could be closed. We we don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Only time will tell, but. So right now, Colin's just living his best. Yeah. Life. I am. Me too. <laughs> are you? Are you dating? Are you getting out there yeah, too? Yeah, just getting out there with my husband. We're dating <sighs> again. and. Are you? I feel like you guys haven't been on a date. I know, it's time. been a hot minute, but I feel like with the holidays, it's like everybody has a party. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, that's not really a date because we have to like right. go to a party. No, you guys need time by yeah, yourselves. Yeah, we do. So yeah, we might try to do that soon. <laughs> Maybe you should plan something. I know. I was thinking for Saturday, but this thing, we're running into babysitter problems. I got to find a couple more babysitters to have in my stash. Do you want me to babysit? No. Of course I would. The girls would love it nothing more than to lay on top of you <laughs> for four hours. Yeah, so we went to dinner on Saturday mm -hmm. with the girls, Red Robin, yep. amazing. And Bob, I told them when we went there and they're like, what possessed you? I was like, what? I what? like Red Robin. What's wrong with Red My Robin? My burger was delicious. Mine was too, and the fries. Or and Bob. The girls liked it. The only thing that wasn't good was their freckled lemonade. That was gross. <laughs> yeah. Um... So anyway, so then I they were gonna watch Sing Two at the house, so mm -hmm. I invited myself over, mm -hmm. and um, Colin just wanted to lay on my couch with a weighted blanket, which is twenty five pounds, and then he got an additional hundred pounds. Yeah, they both like you know snuggled in. How 
Can I get in here? <laughs> one fine. was in your armpit, one was laying on your head. Yeah, yeah, it was a good time. And then Savannah told me she wants to marry someone just like <laughs> Colin. And I, yeah, said, I don't know if she does. I said, she just, just like, because he likes boys. Yeah. But I guess that is, maybe she wants to marry one though she likes the boys. I don't know, anyways, it's because she loves you and you're so nice to her and you love her and yeah, you're sweet. I and savage. I really do. No, didn't Olivia say Olivia said, oh, and he's savage. <laughs> yeah, which, yeah. I mean, the, no truer words could be said. Yeah, if Luke Alvin was savage, we'd have to, like, knock him down a bit. Didn't, uh, he was getting savage the other day, so Luke uh, oh. and Tavia are trying to buy a rental of uh, investment property. And Luke is oh, so, Tavia, the worst Tavia client. phoned a friend to <laughs> try to, like, talk Luke off the ledge, because he's, you know. Spiraling. <laughs> he was having a full-on melty. Yeah, it was it was a challenging conversation. I think. challenging at best, and then we we're like, just get off the phone so we can talk shit about you. And then he hung <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> He's like, you can't talk about me when I get off the phone. I will hang up on you, call Colin back, and begin to talk shit about you. You're shaking the camera. Sorry. Sorry. What time is it? It's eleven fifteen. So we still have no. hours. We'll know when it's. Um, oh, I'll know by offer. two. Yeah, we're very excited about that. Mm -hmm. No, okay, wait. So that were, you told me a cute story about Savannah Which at, one? at school. On the lesbian? Yeah. Tell the people. So I get a text message from a mom. It's like, I have to tell you the story about Savannah. And I was like, okay. And she goes, so she told her daughter uh, that girls can get married and have babies. And I was like, of course I have to go on. Like two girls. Two girls can get married and have babies. And this is what my six-year-old told another six-year-old in kindergarten. And so I had to go on defense because you never know what kind of person this mom is. Right. And if she likes people. So all I responded was like the pride flag and was like, obviously we're LGBTQ plus A minus over here. Supportive. <laughs> allies, she, allies. Allies. Plus A. Yeah. And, or A plus. How do you do that? LGBTQ A plus. I, mean, I probably should know, but plus I a. don't really know. Anyways. And she was like, it's just so funny. Like, I'm just curious how this came up in conversation. Right. So I did ask Savannah and Savannah was saying that this little girl was telling her how she's going to marry this cute little boy in class. And Savannah was pretty much just like, well, just so you know, girls can marry each other and have babies. Like, facts. I think it's so cute that they, they the girls just talk about it all the time. They don't it's care. Like, it's just, it's just, it's normal, which is the way it should be. It's very normal. And I feel like it is a little bit more complicated to have the baby, but we'll get to that point yeah. when we have to figure. <laughs> right. Yeah. Petri dish. Yeah. Create a baby. Bake it. Right. Yeah. In somebody. In somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Savannah's gonna be like, but you can get what? There. You can get there. Yeah, with a lot of money, mm. two ladies can have a baby. I know. So Janelle Spencer and two boys can I don't have know a baby. If they want to talk. Maybe I shouldn't say. Yeah. This. So I stop yourself now. <laughs> See, I don't know what to say and what not to say anymore. Like, I know, because we so used touchy. to be, like, so politically incorrect. We and just now, used to let it free And now out. everybody's so sensitive as if we've got thousand billion followers that are going to go spread our secrets. Oh, we did get quite a few views on that Actually, one. just so you know, there have been a couple of people that have reached out yeah. that said, where are you? And we notice you. Yeah, we love you. We love you. Yeah. Um, so let's see, what else is new? We... Samantha got engaged. Thank God. <laughs> Alec, get it done. I guess they've been together like seven Forever. years. Forever, right? get it. Let's go. So she, she's engaged. She's engaged. She said that I'm making her a bridezilla. Because how are you? Exactly, because she's totally bridezilla, just so you know. Mm -hmm. And I said because she wants Lisa to help with the flowers. And when I talked to Lisa, Lisa goes, "Is she a crazy bride?" And I was like, "Let's do them now, so that she can't get too crazy by the end." What do you mean you're doing flowers now? Well, Samantha what wants kind of flowers like. Didn't she tell you about the flowers? The, uh, I don't know if the... I was listening. <laughs> so anyways. It's just too much. There's two people planning weddings right now. And, and so like, I told her, I said, Lisa said she'll help as long as you're not a crazy bride. She goes, you're the one that makes me crazy. You tell people I'm bridezilla. I'm like, no, no you are bridezilla. Yeah, she's letting it go to her head a little bit. So she's got her. And she doesn't watch us. So we're no, not, she doesn't we're watch us. So we can afraid. talk. Yeah. We can talk all the crap we want. And what is she going to do? Kick us out of our wedding? Dare ya. Yeah. So TV's, <laughs> uh. What are a matron of them? I'm the old bag. <laughs> Is that what you say? Did you say matron? I think you're supposed to because I'm married. So me and Randy are matrons. Oh. But I, just I'm just cute. the old bag. I'm 30. I will be 36 in this wedding. I think there's a cutoff. Like, I think once you cross like maybe 30, 
33 or 32. You just aren't like 36. We're on the other side going towards 40. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Okay. But I'm 36 and the rest of these whores are how old? 22? Oh, bags. Yeah, no. One like of them's in young. Their 20s. One, one's young. They're all in their 20s except you and Randy. How old is, how old is the youngest? No clue. I don't even know if I could name them off. I have a wedding text. I think I, I can I name could. them off I except could. one. And we don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know her. I said that to Samantha to Sarah yesterday while she was doing my lashes. About what? No, no, we said something. I was like, oh, we don't know her. And yeah, we he don't goes, know her. He goes, she goes, just like we just know Jacob after nine months of dating. We don't know we him. We don't know him. Well, you could be a murderer. You never know. I could be too. And I'm so I'm pretty, I think I have it locked in on at me? this point. I don't have like after the beady eyes. Seven or eight years. Shifties. Nine years. Nine years. Yeah, I think I have it. I think I have it figured out. So anyway, so she's going. We're doing our bachelorette in what is it, Sedona, Scottsdale, Scottsdale, Scottsdale in June, and then the wedding is in Mexico in October. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm ordaining it. <laughs> Why is that funny? Have you gotten your license? I don't know if you have to because yes, you do. Mexico. I think you still need to have. You have to have one for Mexico to actually make it official. Otherwise, um, these two are going to think they're married and they're not married. No, but that's the thing. So you actually get married here at the courthouse. You sign the docs and then... But you can get legally married there too. Well, I think that it's their plan is to get legally married here. I think I cat's get, out of the bag, but I think they already are. I'm... Oh, yeah. Officially, yeah. <laughs> Officially married, like... So it doesn't matter. But, so, what I need to work on is my... I need to, like, come up with, like, a... Um, I want you to be... A sonnet or a poem or a haiku. Ooh. Ooh, a haiku. I'll help you with that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also want you to dress off. like Moira. Just all white? In her like poem yeah. outfit. Yeah. I want you to dress like Moira as if you were marrying David and Patrick. Patrick. I can't if believe you walked, got Patrick's, Patrick's I love Patrick. If you walked out like that, just I would a just... crazy outfit. Pee. I think I'm just going to wear my She suit. also wants us to wear... Well, we've gotten over that, but she wants us to wear, like, at one point she wanted us <coughs> all to be in white. I don't love it. She's the bride. She wears white. And then yeah, she wanted us to be to in, like, out, right? she wanted us to be in, like, satin in Mexico. Yeah, we'll so we all have, like, breast sweat and ass sweat <laughs> and, like, like side, side roll sweat. No, thank you. And then she has all these websites that, God... I know you're all out there and you get on these crazy websites for $70 dresses. Well, my dress came, there was about 40 yards too much of fabric. <laughs> it looked like I could smuggle a full grown human oh, underneath my dress. Okay. I'm sure it's a little dramatic. But... Ask her. Okay. She told you it looked like a maternity dress too. It was I awful. Think she said, it was... I don't think she said anything bad about the dress. Awful. To me. Maybe I wasn't listening. Don't listen for a lot. Well, so here's the thing. Okay, we did need to back up a little you bit. You black out a lot on her. Do okay. you do that to me? Let's. Did you get your ear pierced once? No. Oh, that's a freckle. We need to back up a little bit because Janelle and Spencer also got married. No, they got engaged. Oh, sorry. Engaged. Yes, yes, On yes. top of a mountain. Which it was, yeah, it was so, I want to talk about this for a minute. So <laughs> Spencer texted me and, yeah. or no, he didn't text me. He, what, how did it come Snapchat about? Snapchat. been so. No, 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 no. I was over at his house. Yeah. I was over at his house, we were um, drinking together, and Janelle went upstairs to like pee or something, do something, and um, Spencer and I were at the counter, and he's like, I'm gonna propose to Janelle, and I was like, ah! I like died, he's like, shut up. Call him And this was like months before. Yeah, 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 it was. And, and then we had to buy a ring. Well, and so I'm horrible at keeping secrets, so yeah. I don't know why he told me, but I mean. I don't either. It was it was a challenge. It was like months from the time he told me to the time it actually happened. But then he found out that Colin told me. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I told Tavia. I told Sam. I was telling everybody. Everybody but Janelle. Everybody which is but funny. Janelle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I had to get it out. And then he found out that I told Tavia. And he's like, what? You told Tavia? He's yeah. all mad. I was like, yeah, she's the only person I told. When I literally, Plus 50. I was at like a closing and I was like, yeah, my bestie is going to get me. <laughs> 
So anyway, so he told me the worst. Don't tell him where you buried the body. Yeah, don't. But I, I was really proud of myself for that. I mean, I was like really like kicking myself. I was like, because we would like go out and like drink or whatever, and like you know, I'm just like loose lips McGee, and I'm like telling myself like don't fucking loose lips like, Leslie over here. Like just don't say anything. Don't like so all night long Smack I'd be thinking yourself. yeah exactly all night I'd be like don't say anything in my head. So anyway, so then he was like, okay, I found the ring and I need you to help me pick it up. So we went down to Park Meadows one day. Like we had to concoct this whole plan of um Cause does she track him? Yes. Like she psycho tracks track, me. But does she is she a psycho like me? I think she tracks me more than anything and like because because you do shady shit and we gotta know where you I are. I don't anymore. You you should have seen me back in the day. But she um she <laughs> tracks me all the time like she's a dumpster. <laughs> because Spencer and I were in the car and he was like, Oh, why well, I, I uh I have to turn off my phone because I was literally with her last night and she was just watching you where you were. Like she tracks you all the time, so we can't be together. So he had to shut off his phone. It was a whole thing. We went down to Park Meadows to uh, Blue Nile, which is this like, I guess, it's a like jewelry diamond dealer thing. I don't know. This $100,000 ring they put in a bag and we're like, everybody's like watching us and like, oh my God, it's so pretty. Put it in a bag. We just walk outside of the store with Somebody's it. Somebody's gonna chop off your fingers. That's what I thought. Like, what? <laughs> And then he had to go to, because it was a whole thing, because he went to his, like, work event. That's oh, yeah, you had to why he home. said, I had to carry it around for, like, two weeks before we went yeah. to Aspen. He did an Aspen, by the way. And, and then I made else. Colin FaceTime me and opened the box so yeah. I could see the ring. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Poor Janelle. Everybody saw this bad boy. Did you try it on? No, I didn't want to touch it because I didn't want to get it smudgy. Okay. I was going to say, I was going to say, people have tried this thing on before it even hit her finger, but, but we did, all looked at it. I did, uh, I was hooking up with this guy, which I've known for a while, but I was like talking about it. He's like, I want to see it. And so I like opened it up, like over there by the He's sink. He's probably going to steal it from you. <laughs> and over there by the sink. And I was like, oh, do not drop it down the sink. Oh, oh. Yeah, it was a stressful process. So then... Uh, we went out to Mar uh, Aspen and then, because we take a trip up there every fall to watch the leaves change. So yeah. it was kind of like, like we were already going up there and then like he had, you know, he pulled it out and Maroon Bells. We went this is so also cute. the part about why we're all crazy really stalkers, but Colin had to turn his phone on airplane mode because he was going to be on filming duty. Well, but when he turned his phone on airplane mode, it you did it right when you were, got picked up by the bus. No, I lost was, service. I didn't have to turn it on airplane mode. I lost service at what the hospital. Whatever, he lost service at the hospital. So I knew what was happening. And then Samantha's blowing me up like, why is Colin at the hospital in Aspen? I'm like, oh my God. And then Devon was like, Colin's at the hospital in Aspen. I was like, you guys. Everybody's freaking out. They're getting engaged. Just everybody. Yeah. Everybody bring it down. Colin's not dead. Yeah. He's not at the hospital. We've called. We don't know what's going on with him. I'm like, oh my God. At least you should know people care. Yeah, they do. Because sometimes I see you floating in the river out there, and I'm like, oh, no. It's his last day. He gave up. I've lived a very full life. Anyway, we are out of time. Are we, though? We are. It just flies by. Time flies when you have a fun, Time doesn't it? Time flies. I just really miss our chitty chats. I do too. We're back. We're back. We're, We're, back. Every week. We're gonna find some great stuff for you. Just our lives. I think our lives just are like, just hilarious. I don't even think we scratched the surface on what we've been through over the years. So. No. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching us and find hanging us on out with us. All platforms. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's all. Well, it's Spotify, iTunes. Seems like a lot. YouTube. Yeah. We upload every Tuesday at 6 a.m. Automatically, because I don't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Davia wakes up and uploads it. Um, so, yeah, check us out. Check out our past episodes. And, um, yeah, we will check you on next week. Oh, my God, next week. Next week. And that, my friends, <laughs> is how the cookie crumbles. All right, bye. <laughs>